Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week, I did my first video on the new application from DxO called Pure Raw. In that video, I used Pure Raw to process an image that was shot with an ISO of 12,800. In the video, I mentioned that I'll do another video where I'll use Pure Raw to process an image at a more reasonable ISO, something that we probably use a little more often than 12,800. So today we're going to take this image, it was shot with an ISO of 400, and we're gonna process it in Pure Raw. Now what I did is exactly what I did in that other video. Now if you haven't seen that other video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. We're in Lightroom. This is the RAW file. I did some processing of the RAW file in Lightroom. There is, let me click here, there we go. There is the original image, and there's the image with the processing I've done to it. After I did the processing, I sent it over to Topaz Labs Denoise AI, and I removed noise, and that's what this image is. So this is that same image with noise removed by Denoise AI. I want to try to get a direct comparison between Pure Raw and Denoise AI. Now, Denoise AI works as a Lightroom plugin, so it was very easy to send this over into Denoise to remove the noise. Uh, Pure Raw does not work as a plugin, it works as a standalone product. It's supposed to improve your RAW file, so you take a RAW file and put it into it directly. So what I did was, before I processed this image, I made a copy of it and put it on my desktop. So on my desktop, I have the copy, and we're gonna take that copy right here, and we're gonna put this in Pure Raw. So I'm just gonna drag it right onto Pure Raw there and load it in, and you can see it's loaded right now. Now, for those of you that didn't see my other video, the first time you put an image in Pure Raw, if it hasn't seen that lens before, it will ask you to download the lens profile so it could do lens profile corrections. Uh, in this case, it has seen the lens that I used on this image before, so it's not asking me that question. Pure Raw does three things. It does what they call demosaicing. I'm not going to get an explanation what that is, but in the description below the video, I'll have a link to a website where you could read about it. It also does, as I mentioned, lens corrections. But the big thing, and why I'm comparing it to Denoise AI, is it does noise reduction. So that's what we're going to check out. So I have the image in Pure Raw. It already has the lens profile it needs to apply those corrections to this image. So I'm going to click on Process Photos. Now I could load more than one, by the way. I just have one in here. So we'll click Process Photos. Now it's going to ask, what method of raw processing do you want to use? This is the noise reduction. DxO has three different types of noise reduction, HQ Prime and D Prime. D Prime is their best noise reduction, and it only works on raw files. So that's what I'm going to use. Do you want to output it as a JPEG or a DNG? The advantage of using Pure Raw is that you preserve your raw um, format. So I'm going to export it as a DNG file. That's a raw format. Now, where do you want to save it? The original folder or a custom folder? Now, I have my Lightroom set up so that it monitors a specific folder that I called auto imports. Whenever I put an image into that folder, Lightroom automatically imports it. So it makes it very easy. So what I've done is I've set this up so that it's going to process the, this image and put it in that folder. So it will automatically be loaded into Lightroom and we can compare it to the other two images or the other two versions of the image. So I'm going to click on process and you'll see under the image a little progress bar will appear and there's a progress bar at the bottom. I think it said it would take around 18 seconds. So we'll let it do its thing. And then it's going to ask you what you want to do next. Do you want to go to the folder? Do you want to, you know, whatever. You'll see in a moment. Uh, in my case, because it's in that specific folder and being automatically imported into Lightroom, I don't need to view the results or do anything because I'm just going to go directly to Lightroom. And you'll see down here in the film strip, uh, another image will suddenly appear. Now, as I mentioned, um, it is the original raw file. I just made a copy of that that we sent in there. So it doesn't have the edits that I did to Lightroom or in Lightroom on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the original raw file. This is the original Nikon raw file. And then I'm going to just click on the um, DxO 
image and I'm just going to click on the word or the button over here previous and it's just going to apply those edits that I did to that raw file to this file. So there is the DXO image. Here again is the original raw file. You can see that uh, the lens corrections appear to be different. See I have lens corrections. This was Nik shot with a Nikon Z7 with a Nikon Z24-7 f2.8 s lens and Nikon or I'm sorry Lightroom applied noise or applied um, lens corrections to it. Now that was the original raw file with no edits done to it so I didn't apply lens corrections twice. So this is just different. Their profile is different as you could see compared to there. Here it's not showing anything if we uncheck everything. Doesn't matter. So that is different right off the bat. Now whether one is right and one is wrong I don't know. Uh, but you know I don't think on its own if someone looks at it they're gonna oh well you got barrel distortion they're not even gonna know. Alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna hold in the command key on my Mac. It's control key on the PC and just draw a rectangle over the lighthouse. We're gonna zoom into that part. Now the original raw file shot at ISO 400. You can see there's a little bit of noise there. Not a lot. So we're gonna go to the denoise image. This again is this raw file sent to denoise. You can see I just used auto settings on denoise. I didn't do anything special and it cleaned up the noise, you know, great in my opinion. We'll go to the pure raw image and um, it did too. It cleaned up the noise. You can see that now that kind of lens correction is different, but overall it seemed to, it seemed to clear up the noise. Let me double click again. There seems to be like that original image I did in the first video. There seems to be a little bit more detail in the pure raw image, but a little more noise. So denoise with its default auto settings remove more noise, but took away a little bit of the detail. Whereas the pure raw seems to have a little more detail. If you look at the bricks of the lighthouse compared to the denoise one. So again, as I did in the last video, what I could do is I could go to the denoise image and just sharpen it, you know, sharpen it up and that will bring back that sharpness. It's not bringing back any noise. Then I could go to the, den or the um, pure raw image. And if I want to just get rid of that tiny, tiny, tiny bit of noise, which no one's going to see, I could just move noise reduction up. So I think, I really do think that as far as noise reduction is concerned, uh, the, uh, that's kind of weird. See that? Anyway, I think the pure raw and denoise are very comparable. The deep prime that's available in pure raw and denoise are very comparable. Denoise has the advantage because it works as a Lightroom plugin. So it's a little easier to use in a, a standard workflow. Just send it over, you know, remove noise, you're back in Lightroom, you can process it. It also works as a plugin in Photoshop and other applications as well. Pure Raw standalone only, so it's not uh, easily accessed as a, you know, as an application that you're going to be using in conjunction with another application like Lightroom. Um, the way I have it set up, I think works pretty well where you have Lightroom monitor a folder that you would auto import images into Lightroom from. I have a video on how to do that. And again, I'll try to find that video and put a link to it in the description below this video. So hopefully this helps you decide whether or not pure raw is something you would use. Uh, like I mentioned in the other video, I'm not sure it's something I'd use um, because I'm kind of set on my workflow the way it is now with Denoise AI, but I'll, I'll mess around with it some more. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know below and um, thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.